Microflukes, the headless microbiologist, returns. This short video is to show you how to properly use the Bacti incinerator. Um, you might recall that when we develop good aseptic technique or sterile technique, these are steps we take to prevent contamination of equipment or media with unwanted environmental microbes. And we know from the first week doing our environmental sampling, microbes are everywhere on every surface or all over our body. Um, so when you are transferring microbes and you don't, wanna, um, you don't want them contaminated with un unwanted environmental microbes, we often use transfer instruments. The one I like the best is called the inoculating loop. So you can see it's just a wire that's been twisted into a loop. Um, another transfer instrument that's used often is the inoculating needle. And we'll be using this most often when we're stabbing auger, stabbing auger deeps to get our microbes to grow aerobically. But as you can imagine, um, these inoculating instruments are contaminated. They're covered in unwanted microbes. So when we're doing transfers, we need to sterilize our loop in this case. And um, we're so lucky because we now have what I consider much safer back to incinerators. In the old days, we would use the open flame of a Bunsen burner. And um, we had more than one fire from our Bunsen burners. Um, we had incidences where people's hair was singed by the open flame. So I think the Bacti incinerators are much safer. But there are some safety issues with the Bacti incinerator as well. So first of all, um, if we're going to be using the Bacti incinerators, you need to make sure they're plugged in. And then you're going to turn them on. Okay, there's a little lever at the base here. And the recommendation is to let the Bacti incinerator warm up for five to ten minutes. Once it's warmed up, be really careful because the outside of the barrel here will be really hot and can burn you. So be careful that you don't touch that. Um, through experience this last semester or so, we've learned that when we insert our inoculating instrument, so in this case the inoculating loop, you don't want to insert it all the way. You don't want to insert the loop so far that this metal portion of the handle is in the back to incinerator. Um, we've discovered that the, um, the handle will get so hot, it will actually cause a break, metal fatigue, where the handle meets the, the wire here. So what we've learned is when we're going to, we're going to sterilize our loops is only to insert the wire portion. And I would also recommend folks don't let it rest on the inside of the barrel, right? Hold it so it's about halfway um, in, the, um, in the center of the barrel, right? And again, try not to insert this portion where the metal handle joins the wire, otherwise we're going to start losing our loops here. So um, you can count to 10, and once the incinerator is hot, um, after 10 seconds, everything on your loop will be incinerated. Even if there were disease-causing prions on your loop, um, they too would be incinerated. When you withdraw when you withdraw the loop, remember all of this portion will be hot, so don't grab it, don't grab your loop here, don't grab it there. Always handle it by the very end, right? And you want to make sure that the loop is allowed to cool before you touch your microbes. Um, if you touch your microbes too quickly, the loop will be so hot, it will incinerate your microbes. It will kill your microbes. So let your loop cool maybe five to 10 seconds. Don't let it touch anything. If, you're, if your loop touches anything here at the tip, consider that it's contaminated and you'd want to re-sterilize, start the procedure all over again. Okay, um, do remember, even after turning off the Bacti incinerator, the barrel remains hot for a long period of time. So again, try to make sure that, that you don't touch it. Um, also make sure after um, sterilizing your, your loop, don't lay the loop on paper. Um, we had a fire start when a hot loop was placed on a paper towel. It actually started a fire, all right? So we just have to be really careful with these. All right, we'll have more videos to come. Thanks a lot.